Welcome back to DXV Today and joining us tonight, we've got celebrity hairstylist Dina Alouade. Dina, a little birdie told us that you just got back here from Paris Fashion Week. How is that? First of all, I want to say thank you guys so much for having me oh, today. Thank you for joining um, us. And yeah, it was definitely exciting. I've been from one chaotic situation to another, but it's a good kind of chaos. So yeah, I live for it. Well, exactly. But you've come back to your home for yeah. Dubai Fashion Week. What is your involvement in Dubai Fashion Week? Because linking those celebrity hairstylists with fashion must be a big thing. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's always an honor to be a part of something really big and up and coming in the region. So Dyson is our tech, um, hair technology partner for the Dubai Fashion Week season. And as their ambassador in the region, I get to work hand in hand with some of the best people in the industry to come up with looks for on the runway and just the season in general. Wow. Now, in a lot of the runway and a lot of the catwalks, the hair is pretty crazy. It looks amazing uh, for the fashion show, but it's not really something you can wear out and about. But what are the hair trends that are happening right now that people can copy at home? It's actually funny you say that because I find that in the recent seasons, the girl on the runway is actually more relatable than ever. And that comes from what she's wearing to also her beauty. And hair is something that is directly taken from the runway into the homes of the consumers. And I think that's what keeps it trendy now. People want to have effortless and undone worn hair. Um, we find it's like texture, but it looks like she's done it at home if she wanted it to. Yeah. So at Fashion Week, I have a question. How do you manage it? Like when you have one designer and then the other designer has a totally different design and then how do you adapt the hair? Is it all organized before or do you just go the moment? Yeah, so you know, you sit with the designer, you really try to have a feel for the women that they've envisioned um, wearing mm -hmm. their clothes. I say women just because I work mainly with women's hair, but you try to get really into the character of who this is walking down the runway and you come up with a few options for the designer to take a look at, and then they will select a few of their favorites. Sometimes you do have different styles, like two or three on the runway, and you'll just kind of hand pick which model it suits the best. Now you said the word favorites. By any chance, do you have any favorite designers by now to work with? You know what? I don't think I have a favorite designer for each season, but I think every season I do in the end have one that stood out to me or one that gave me a bit of that adrenaline rush a little more than the others. Um, so yeah, it depends on the season, I would say. <laughs> well, I'm definitely really excited to see this for myself, and I understand you are going to do a demo for us live on TV, which I'm very excited about. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to awesome. mooch over. I don't think I've really seen the process before. I mean, sometimes before we go in to the studio. You see us getting our hair. We were right next to each I'm other. I'm always looking at my phone, though. You've seen me. <laughs> you never pay attention to me and my hair. <laughs> right, OK, Dina, we are here. I'm excited. Hello, gorgeous model. Talk us through what you're going to do here today. So during such a busy fashion season, we often see models coming from one show to the next. And it, it relates to a day to day, as in you can be going from your job to a dinner out. You want to refresh your hair. You want to make it look like you've just done it. So I'm going to give you a little tip on how to freshen up your fringe area. OK, good. Um, fringe area is very, very perfect for me, <laughs> actually. Okay, so, so I'm going to take the section for my model, if she looks down, you'll see it's a triangular section mm -hmm. and that's going to give you the best blend. I'm going to be using an air up, so whatever heat tool you might have at home, you do want to make sure you're dampening it a little bit. And heat protection, heat protection. Yeah. Also, whilst you're talking us through this, tell us about, obviously we're in the UAE, we have humidity. This really protects it as well, right? Yeah, so anytime you have a heat protectant, it's perfect. But also, you know, a lot of people don't realize that you have a cool shot on your tools for a reason. That's going to help lock it in and really add the shine and keep your style so it sets even during the humid days. Cool shot. OK, good. So I'm going to bring her fringe forward and I'm going to place my brush over her hair and kind of lift upwards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is giving lots of volume into the root as well. So what it's doing is it's drying the roots for me. It's giving it the shape that I want it to take. And it's giving enough volume that it sits away from her face. What most people love from having their hair professionally done is that it frames your face perfectly. And that's what we find the hardest to do on ourselves. So as you can see, I'm just going directly upward and I'm just using my hand motion to do that. And then I'll bring it forward. 
you're gonna roll it up and this is where your cool shot comes into play ah. so you get the cold air going and that's gonna lock it in for me five seconds and I'll release so when I'm releasing that this is what I'll get Ooh. and I'll split it for you right now that's nice, really nice. I like taking a brush. Anything that's mixed with natural and boar bristle is the best. I'll spray onto my brush with oh, a okay, little bit good. of hairspray. We don't have too much longer, so let's yeah. get this finished. I'll just take product. it all the way back. <gasps> yeah, nice. And there you go. And that makes such a difference. It was so yeah. quick. And she looks like she's just got this fresh and she's good to go. I mean, amazing hair, which I'm actually going to touch your hair. Yeah, very silky, <laughs> very silky. Dina, thank you so much for being here with us today. It's lovely. Hair looks amazing. Right, it's about that time. Faris, is it the DXB in 60? Indeed it is. The DXB in 60. Silke, we've been getting to know you a lot over the past, uh, past show and I do really enjoy it. But we want to talk a lot more about you. I've got bunch of questions we're gonna ask you in 60 seconds quick fire and try and find okay. out as much about you as possible are you ready yeah I'm ready. okay we're gonna start the clock in three two one if you weren't an image consultant what would you be fashion designer if you what, your motto in life and in fashion enjoy I like it your inspiration in the fashion industry oh too many too many names you gotta pick one I need to pick Vivian Westwood nice favorite hidden gem in Dubai Deepa Oysters. Oh, sounds <laughs> nice. Uh, a famous person you would like to meet? Ooh, too many. Um, Sharon Stone. Nice. Your prized possession? My children. Your children. <laughs> the most interesting person that you've met in the city? Faris. Uh, top series you've watched this summer? Oh, I'm, what did I watch? I'm watching Good Girls right now. All right, like yeah, that's it. a good yeah. show. Top podcast recommendation if you have one. Brené Brown. Okay. If you could hang out with someone for 24 hours, dead or alive, who would it be? Oh, I don't know. Why Dubai? Why Dubai? Ah, it's just too cool not to be in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, I think we managed to find out quite a lot about you, Silke, and thank you so much for being on the show with us today. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thank you again, Silke. We will definitely pick your brains about our own image later on. <laughs> but that. first, here is a sneak peek of the remarkable artist that's going to be performing on tonight's episode. Take a look. Hi, my name is Shanice Michaels, and I'm super excited to perform tonight here at DXB Today. So tune in.